things that a lot of podcasts suffer from is poor sound quality. A lot of situations, it's really difficult to get good sound just using the onboard microphones of your camcorder. Uh, those situations are usually places where there's a lot of noise, whether that's air conditioners going, or you're in a restaurant, there's people gabbing, or a club, or sporting event. So it can be really difficult with all that other noise for your voice to actually get through and be clear. Another situation is a room that's really reverberant, like a gymnasium, but even a lot of times your living room that doesn't have a lot of furniture or carpets, can the sound can bounce around a lot and it gets tough to deliver clear quality um, audio where people can understand everything you're saying. So obviously if you're putting this up and doing the podcast, you think it's worth hearing. So there's a couple different solutions that you can do that don't cost a whole lot of money uh, to get better, more clear sound quality. I'm actually shooting this one with a Rode video mic. It's a little shotgun that mounts on top of the camera, which has some pretty acceptable results, but in okay situations. But in situations where it's really noisy or really reverberant, one of your best solutions is a lav mic. And a lav mic or a lavalier mic or lav uh, is one of these mics that clips on just to your shirt, co shirt collar or jacket or anywhere on your shirt, these tiny little omni microphones and basically it's getting right up next to your voice so there's a lot more of your voice than all the other noise going around in a room and one pretty cool cheap solution is this audio technica atr 35s and what's cool about them is the sound quality is not so bad and you can get them for about 20 bucks shipped off amazon or some other retail outlet so for 20 bucks you can actually go a long way to improve your audio quality in your podcast if clarity is a big concern. But this one's, again, pretty good price point, but it's got a couple problems uh, that I'm not too crazy about. Um, one thing that you're gonna have to deal with is the fact that it's just mono, and if you just plug it straight into the small mini input of your camera, it's only gonna record onto one side. That doesn't bother me too much. There's adapters that you can do to convert that one thing uh, from Radio Shack where it'll just go straight in and record to both sides. I do a lot of interviews and things like that so I actually just got this small adapter from Radio Shack that actually is stereo here and mono and mono in there so I can actually run two of these mics together to put one on me and one on the person I'm interviewing. So pretty cool but there's a couple problems that I don't like about uh, these mics. And the main one is it has a 20 foot cable attached to it. That's pretty cool in terms of some flexibility, but there's a couple problems. Uh, the first being it is a long unbalanced cable. Uh, it's beyond the scope of what I can do today to get into what balanced and unbalanced means. But basically a unbalanced cable isn't very good at rejecting noise. So if there's a lot of radio interference or electrical buzz, in the surrounding area, which is almost anywhere in a big city, these little unbalanced lines can actually be very susceptible to noise. So that can actually create a problem. So you've got this more clear version of your voice being recorded, but you've also got electrical buzz or radio interference, which isn't ideal. So it's a good thing to check with headphones whenever you're doing a podcast with one of these. But the other one is that super long cable, it just turns into spaghetti really, really quick and really, really easily. So one that can just be a pain in the neck, but can also be a little bit embarrassing. One of the things we do with my show, which is Ronan's Recording Show, over at ronansrecordingshow.com, is we do interviews with some pretty prestigious people in the field of recording and recording studios, and their time is pretty valuable. So a lot of times we're just getting in fast, trying to do the interview and get out of their way as quick as possible. So all of a sudden you're digging through your boxes and you've got this spaghetti, and every moment counts, and that can be a real pain in the neck. So after one embarrassing moment with a very prestigious interview, I came up with a very high-tech solution, how to deal with this in the future. Recycled toilet paper rolls. So it's basically the cardboard roll that comes with uh, the toilet paper. What we did is we just went and uh, cut one little cut here on one end, and then here on the opposite side, just cut one little bit here. And that makes for actually a pretty darn cool storage solution. So we take this little lav mic, put one end here, slide it through, if you can see that, and then just start wrapping. So wrapping and wrapping and wrapping. I told you this cable was long. And then we get to here, 
where we've got this. This is the battery pack. We will slide that through the other end, tuck that inside there, and then come back out again in that same spot, and then just start wrapping and wrapping and wrapping. Again, not the most exciting part of the video here, <laughs> watching me wrap this. But the cool thing is you can actually wrap it up really quick. Well, 20 feet is a lot of cable. <laughs> but we're wrapping and 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 wrapping. And then at the end of it, here's the other connector. We're just gonna slide this into one of the things. There, we actually have something that's fairly neatly rolled up. And also the fragile parts, which is the microphone, are actually protected inside of it. So the good news about that, aside from it being a pretty neat way to, uh, to store it is, if you need to get set up to do your podcast, whether it's interviewing somebody prestigious or it's just you and some friends hanging out at a party and you wanna catch stuff pretty quick, we just pull this out and it starts unraveling really, really quickly, really, really neatly. Again, fun, fun video here. We pull this end out, boom. We've got the whole thing out. Neat, we could actually run all 20 feet of this just in a couple seconds. Plug it into our camera, turn on the power switch, and we're creating content. Versus the snake pit over here, which if we needed to run a long line, well, that actually could take us a few minutes. And if you've been traveling and storing these things, they turn into spaghetti real quick. So anyway, that's it. This is a pretty cool option. Uh, just And this super high-tech toilet paper roll option can get you around one of the main problems uh, that I've had with this. It's not gonna get you around potential radio and electrical buzz interference, but aside from that, it'll get you up and running. All right, hope this is helpful. Uh, make some cool stuff.